What is up everybody, it's CJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 World Overview and today we're going to be looking at Cuckoo Cove. Now I have a little story about this world before we even get into it. I had originally written this world off as just one of those worlds that I was not going to be able to look at. I tried installing this world months ago and the launcher was like, no, make sure you have the latest software. You know how it is y'all. And I was like, okay, whatever, just forget about it and I just moved on. Up until the other day, where I got recommended this world in my Discord server. So I was like, okay, it's been a couple of months. Sometime the launcher is finicky. We'll try again. So usually when I download worlds off of the exchange, I try to download by the save file. So it's like a little picture of a floppy disk. I'll download that way so I can scan it just to make sure it doesn't have any bad CC on it. Well, this time I was like, why don't I just hit the little green button that says add to game and try to install it that way. And when I did it that way, y'all, it actually worked. So now I'm looking at Cuckoo Cove. I'm so happy because I always saw this world when I was scrolling through and I always wanted to look at it. And here we are today. So thank you for the recommendation because I really wanted to look at this world. So I'm not really sure about everything that this world will use. As y'all can see, it's not that big of a world. So there's not a whole lot to look at, but I am in like my small world like era, I guess right now. Like I'm really into looking at small worlds, but don't worry y'all. I am going to go back to looking at the bigger like worlds and the more medium sized worlds. So don't worry that hasn't went anywhere, but this is just like a small world that I really wanted to look at for the longest time and I'm actually getting a chance to do it. So I'm happy about it. So I don't really know about all the packs that you'll need. I know that these rabbit holes down here come from Sunlit Tides. And I know that this lot is from Supernatural. There's like a assignment store. So you're going to need ambitions and also there's a bar. So you will also need late night, but I'm not really sure about the rest of the packs. You will also need some store content. There's only like two pieces of store content. One is a lamp. One is like a tree. Um, I think I have both of those things installed. So we should be able to see everything, you know? So why don't we just go ahead and get into it? I'm going to try my best to look at all of the lots since it's not really that big. Why don't we go ahead and start down here at this park area? Some of these lot shell are in a different language, so I might not be able to pronounce everything. So I know for a fact that this is park because it, it literally just says it. So why don't we go ahead and check out this park area? Okay, y'all. So we're down here at the park and right off the bat, I want to say that this fountain comes with island paradise i want to say and these spring rods come with generations if i'm not mistaken as well so you're gonna need those packs also there's some beekeeping boxes over here there's also a little chess table over here as well you have a park bench over here and over here there is also a little pond over here so you can have your sims come and fish and there's also a seesaw but that's pretty much it for the park it's just a little small area why don't we go ahead and move on to this like alchemy shop is right beside it why don't we go ahead and open it up real quick so on the inside you have your register there there's the love inspector so this came with seasons there's also some mistletoe here as well so that also came with seasons over here you have a alchemy station and then there's also a dominoes table so this came with showtime so you're going to also need showtime as well and i think that's pretty much it it's not really that big of a building or anything like that so why don't we go ahead and go across the street so this is the festival grounds at the cannery i want to say that this lot right here y'all comes with riverview I want to say so you're going to need that world as well. The world is free on the Sims 3 store if you didn't know. So why don't we just go ahead and open this up? I don't know if this was changed in any way, but let's just check it out. So it looks pretty empty. Of course, this is your festival ground. So whenever you have like the seasonal festivals, you'll have like, you know, stuff actually here. But for right now, it's just like boxes and stuff. When you scroll upstairs, there's more boxes and there's also some bathrooms in the corner. And then over here, you just have your grill and picnic tables. And then over here in the back, you just have have one dumpster and I think that's pretty much it though for this little area okay so now we're gonna go ahead and go across the street so this is a consignment store why don't we go ahead and check this out next okay y'all so we're down here at the consignment store let's go ahead and open it up real quick so on the inside you just have like a little place to sit you have your register and there's a lot of different assorted items and stuff like that in here there are some plants over here some calendars these calendars came with the pets pack so you're also gonna need pets as well so it's looking like you're gonna need a lot of packs for the this world by the way um, but I think that's pretty much it for this consignment store why don't we go ahead and go over here so this is the library let's check this out next yo this library is so small it kind of looks like a little cabin too 
why don't we go ahead and open it up? Y'all, it's like a little baby small library. So when you come in, you have your computer, you have a little place to sit by the fireplace. There's a grandfather clock and another clock beside it. You have plenty of bookshelves in here. And then you also have your bathroom over here in the back. Why don't we go ahead and go to another lot? So why don't we go ahead and go over here? This is a bar. So let's go ahead and check this out next. All right, y'all, so we're over here at the bar. Let's go ahead and open it up. So when you come in, you have your bar over here in the middle. You have your bathrooms over here on the right. And then over here on the left, you have like a little game room. So you have your foosball table. There's a shuffleboard object. You also have a jukebox over here as well. This tree right here, y'all, is one of the store content items that you'll need. I think it comes from the three lakes set on the sims 3 store if i'm not mistaken but i think that's pretty much it though for this lot and i think that was the last community lot in the world so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to some of the residentials so let's go ahead and check out the house that i placed elliot down at first okay y'all so this is the house that i placed elliot down at it is right here by the bar <laughs> that we were just at and it is kind of like right here by the water as well but let's go ahead and open it up so when you come in you have a living room area there's a kitchen you have your kitchen table when you scroll upstairs you have a bedroom with its own balcony you also have a bathroom and then there is like a little office -y workspace right here in the corner and i think that's pretty much it for this house let's go ahead and go across the street to check out this house so this one looks like a little cabin let's go ahead and open up this one so on the inside of this house you have a living room area i have all the lights turned on y'all but it's just so dark in here <laughs> but okay but anyway when you come in though you have a living room area you have your kitchen you have a bathroom and then over here you have your bedroom slash nursery okay so now we're gonna go ahead and go over here and check out this house next all right y'all so we're down here at this house let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in you have your dining table you have your kitchen over here going over this way you have a bathroom you have a bedroom with a bunk bed and a single bed so it is like a one bedroom house and then over here you just have a little sitting area this house also has a swimming pool and you have a little place where you can come and lounge if you want so now let's go ahead and go back this way i think this is the last house in the world if i'm not mistaken let's go ahead and check this one out okay y'all so we're down here at this house let's go ahead and open it up so when you come in you might want to fix the tile right here too so when you come in though you have your kitchen you have a dining space your bathroom bathroom over here when you scroll upstairs you have a bedroom with a little rocking chair there's a pull-up bar in here as well and you have like a little place to come and sit down and then going over this way you also have a little balcony as well so I switched over to edit town mode because I wanted to see how many empty lots were already in this world and as you can see there's a few so you have one over here there's some empty lots over here in this little area there's also some empty lots over here in this little area as well so you do have more space to add more lots and stuff like that if you do need more more space for your world but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video like i said this world is not that big so there wasn't a whole lot to look at but i was really excited that this world actually installed for me so i was like i really need to take advantage of this and make a video so i'm glad i got to look at this one today if you would like to download this world i will leave it linked down below just know that you're gonna need sunlit tides and a lot of expansion packs and there's like two pieces of story content one of them was that tree and then i think another one is like a lamp or something like that so that's pretty much it though for this world y'all if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below follow me over on twitch where i stream a lot more of the sims and i will see you in the next video bye thanks for watching